Every summer, Barry Burnell would head abroad, often to America. He was fated there, a top British coach, a star maker. He'd spend three days on the beach with the English boys he'd taken with him, separated from their families. Back then, Kean Brownlee was an aspiring young footballer. He recalls how Burnell used his popularity to exploit innocent teenagers in his team. We started hearing stories um, amongst the boys on the team, you know, that he was just maybe asking a kid to sit on his lap, you know, on the trip there, on the way back. Um, and he was often alone with players and the parents weren't there. Kean was invited to England to train at Crew Alexandra. It was then he witnessed Brazen Burnell's abuse close up. In the camper behind this house where we were staying, waiting for this, this trip, um, and another player, a friend of mine that we were going on the trip with, uh, we were just watching 101 Great Goals and watching the 1986 World Cup tape, um, and Barry was in bed with uh, the, the little English boy. And you must have felt uncomfortable at that stage. Uh, we were frightened to death. Bunnell's reign of terror finally ended when he was jailed in Florida in 1995. He pleaded guilty, but there was no remorse, just typical defiance. Mr. Bunnell, did you rape this child? No. No. Bunnell had even received a letter of support from his boss at the time, Dario Grady. It read, I have known Barry for just over ten years, and he has worked for me for about five of these years. Not once during that time have I ever received a complaint from a boy or his parents of a sexual nature. But Burnell had been coaching in America for years, so how did he manage to get away with it? Barry Burnell's connections with crew and the club's reputation for finding future stars essentially gave Burnell an American passport. That's how, a full six years before he was convicted in Florida, he was here at this facility just outside Atlanta, coaching the Brookwood Steamers under 12s. I was then 13 at the time. You know, it should be the time of your life, but all I can remember is what actually happened, the abuse and that side of stuff. Speaking exclusively to ITV News, one of many talented British boys persuaded by Burnell to go to the States. His nightmare began the moment he and Burnell moved in with a family near Atlanta in Georgia. The family, lovely family, set up the spare room for me. Um, yeah, I lasted one night in that spare room before, again, he spoke to the family. And, you know, he, he's fine with me downstairs. He could manipulate anyone. Somebody must have known. This man can't have got away with what he was doing for so long without other people questioning what was happening. In 1995, Florida's state attorney did write to the FA in London, ahead of Burnell's release from jail and deportation back to England. Mr Burnell had a hidden reason for teaching this age group. He molests them, she wrote. I hope this information will serve you and serve to protect other children from abuse at the hands of Barry Burnell. She never received a reply. The man's a monster. The man deserves everything he gets. And on Monday, those Bunnell abused will find out exactly what that is when he's brought to court in front of many of them to be sentenced. Steve Scott, ITV News, Atlanta, Georgia.